Stay tuned for how I installed this recessed light into a piece of plywood. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> So these are the lights inside the box, instruction manual. Six lights. Um, Comes with a, a light bulb socket. So I guess in your, if you had existing can lights, you'd unscrew the light bulb, screw this in place, and then all you'd have to do is put this, squeeze these together, put it inside the can, and then uh, you'd be good to go. But we're not going to do it that way. We're going to cut off this socket and connect it to some wiring and uh, mount this in a piece of wood. First thing I did was measure between the ceiling joist and then I went to the table saw to cut a piece of plywood. I didn't record it, but I sanded the edges that fit in between the ceiling joists until I got a nice tight fit on this piece of wood. I then marked the center of the wood by drawing two lines from each corner. Then I drew a circle using my compass about five inches diameter. Then I drilled a hole into the wood using a drill bit that's just a little bigger than my jigsaw blade and used my jigsaw to cut the circle out. I then did a real quick sanding on this just to clean it up a little bit. So this is the bracket that I'm going to put up to hold the piece of plywood with the light in it. It'll go across spanning these two joists. Plywood will just sit along here right along this edge and I'll screw it into this uh, piece of block right here. I'm going to put one on this side, then there's going to be one on the other side. Um, just put four nails in it just to hold it up. That way I'll be able to take the lamp off 
uh, if I need to work on it, so or replace it. I set up a stop block about 10 inches away from the blade and then cut some of this wood. I then set the saw to 45 degrees and cut a chamfered edge on each side. Okay, I got a line marked here where I want the center of the light to go. Then I have this uh, little jig here. It's got a line on it where the center of this is. Uh, then there's a piece of plywood that is the same plywood I'm using to hold the lamp. So I just got that clamped on here so I can hold it flush with the bottom of the joist. So I just line up the line Line to there. Hold that on there like that. Put a clamp on it. Gotta make sure it stays flush. Or close to it. Then that to be perfect for this here. Here I'm just drilling some eighth inch holes with a countersink so I can put some screws uh, into those blocks to hold this piece of plywood up. Never have enough workbenches. Okay, this is one of the lights. Um, just going to take this apart because we're uh, getting ready to. Paint it now because I don't want it to be white. So, uh, just taking off these four back screws to get this uh, lens off here so I can paint this brown to blend in with the ceiling a little better. Screws out. I will just push on this a little bit. Pops it out. 
That's just the uh, lens there. That's what the inside looks like. The yellow, yellow diodes are the uh, lights that make the uh, make it bright. This says it's about the equivalent of a 75 watt light bulb for this one. So now I'm just going to paint the inside of this ring and outside here. So it blends in with the ceiling a little better. This is the first coat of paint I put on. Um, we picked this color because we thought it would blend in with the wood uh, up in the ceiling joist, but uh, after we got them done, it was way too light, so we ended up putting a second, uh, another coat on that was a different can of paint. And it's just a can of paint and primer from a big box store. That already looks better. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm going to try to do a good, because uh, I'm hoping this will be my last coat. This girl in my math class has the same birthday as me. You would have known.
So as you can tell, I'm just putting this back together in the reverse order that I took it apart. Uh, these spring wire clamps or whatever you want to call them, uh, you can see how I put them on uh, upside down from how they came out of the box when they were new. Um, and that's putting the spring pressure back on the wood to uh, hold them into in place. So I ran this electrical wire, they call it SO cord, from my uh, electric junction box uh, that was that's connected to my light switch. Um, ran it from there over to each light, uh, and then I just twisted the wires together and soldered them uh, onto those pigtails that connect to the LED lights. Then I cut off that lamp base that screws into a light socket, leaving me with just the connector and the two wires. After that, I soldered the wires together and then I wrapped them with some electrical tape. So here I'm just putting one of the lights up into the ceiling. Uh, once I get it where I want it, um, I didn't record it, but I just put some drywall screws into those four holes that I drilled. Um, that'll hold it up, and if I ever need to take it out, I can just take those screws out and drop it down. Thank you. 
and these are just some pictures of the lights after they were mounted. The first picture here on the left uh, shows the electrical box where I ran the wires to. Um, each one of those black wires is connecting two LED lights together.